What's good, tribe? It's the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In this reading, it's going to be a specific channel message directly from your higher self. So it's not a coincidence that you guys are here and connected to this channel out of all channels. So somehow this message has found you out of all the people in the world, out of all the videos. This message has found you for a reason. There is a specific message from your higher self, your higher self, meaning the version of you that is in the reality that you desire to live in in uh, connected in the reality of the highest version of you so this higher version of yourself is going to be the most authentic version that comes through so i'm going to be channeling those messages last but not least if you guys are looking for any information you already know you can find that in the description box so in this video we have three different cards that you guys can choose from if you're looking for a more deep introduction to meeting your higher self i just released another video on the tarotchest.com there's only 333 of them once they're gone they're gone so if you're feeling led to meet your higher self directly and what that would feel like how you're channeling your higher self how your higher self is guiding you directly through which compasses, through which gifts and senses is your higher self guiding you. So that's going to be a more in-depth reading on meeting your higher self directly. So there's only going to be chosen 333 of you guys um, that are really going to be inspired to go towards that reading. So you guys can find all of that information in the description box below. All right, I'm excited to get into this video. All right, this is going to be an encouraging message, impactful message from your higher self. We have three different cards you can choose from. Card number one, card number two, in card number three all right let's jump into the reading all right if you guys were drawn to card number one this is your reading from your higher self for exactly what you need to hear for where you are right now channeled message from your higher self if you guys are looking for a more in-depth channeled introduction you guys can find that down below at the tarotchest.com if you are looking for more of an introduction to your higher self if you guys were drawn to card number one dark night of the soul you may have heard about this in many many spiritual teachings we believe that this is also called an ego death so let's just see what the overall energy is for card number one and why you guys were sent here and what you're currently experiencing all right last card card number one higher self all right and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. Let's get an actual message directly from your higher self, a text message as if your future self wanted to text you and, and communicate with you a message that you really, really need to hear right now. What would that be? Thank you. We have, you need no reason to be worthy of abundance. Help is nearby. I got your back. All right. So there could be something that is on pause here on delay and this is for a reason that's because there's going to be divine intervention and almost like a a tag team partnership here with you in the universe so it's almost like the universe is saying to tag me like tag me in we're we're in this together so there is a lot of recognition of your spiritual self and your connection to god the universe that you've never experienced before we also have 333 on the phone so that could be very very significant to you this i believe 14 14 could be or 1515 could be 333 as well or 444 i'm not sure so you could be a taurus you don't have to be because we have the higher font you are going through a spiritual enlightening moment in your life all right this moment that you're going through these experiences that are happening they're actually happening for you believe it or not all right so you're going through a lot of changes here we have the five these are spiritual changes that maybe you do not see in the physical happening but you can feel them they are also manifesting in the sense of aligning and showing you the truth okay so the truth is being revealed to you right now about people in your life about maybe some truths that you thought were true that were not that have been creating some of these realities in your life there's a new perspective on life being forged and that's the dark night of the soul that you are experiencing this is an ego death you are not who you once were you are letting go of the past version of you and this past version of you has attachments to it many many attachments is what i'm hearing and it is all about releasing these attachments but there's free will here 
there is love unconditional love that's coming in and support from the universe and i'm hearing that it is time for you to meet your higher self which is probably why i told you guys about the tarot chest reading because it's very rare that i talk about those and through this experience it's like the darker it is the brighter the light is going to be for you because for some reason you haven't been seeing this light in your life so many many things are being turned down in the sense of maybe looking dark so you can see the exact pathway you know i always say it's kind of like that little light on the tv like the little power light it's like super dark in the room but that one bright light it's like where is that coming from and it's just a little beam that's what you're kind of looking for right now so that's what the dark night of everything seems dark but it is almost like so it can illuminate your light more so we have help is nearby i got your back so once again this is also happening so that you can see this connection that you have so whatever it is in your life that just was not aligned with who you truly are is just up for questioning okay if it's not making you feel good you're shedding many many things many beliefs about yourself many doubts about yourself discovering who you are and there's a, a you're gonna look at life a completely new way you're being renewed restored so that you can see life completely differently all right so what is happening for card number one right now we have collaborations we have disturbance yeah for sure whoa that flew out and we have readiness preparation arrangement propped okay so you're getting ready to collaborate there's a disturbance once again this disturbance is to bring justice in your life this justice is coming from the higher font um, there's a spiritual connection that maybe you could have been avoiding it goes deeper it goes deeper there there is no there is no deep when it comes to spirituality it's just depth upon depth you go deeper and deeper and deeper so there are benefits to actually connecting with your spiritual self like there are life benefits that you're going to receive from this so this isn't just about like spirituality this is also about you recognizing who you are who are you truly without your descriptions card number one who are you without your descriptions who are you when no one's looking who are you when you're by yourself okay there's there's a lot here that i feel like you are going to be seeing yourself in a completely new light okay you are not like everyone else why is the higher font here for card one page of cups there is a path that I'm hearing that you're going to align with, that you are to align with, that could seem very childish. Look at this, even the clown. I've never seen a full card that looked like this. This is the first time I'm using this deck and I don't even remember what it's called, but that's what I was getting with the childish card. Your life is meant to be explored from a childlike perspective of excitement, of fun, of emotional fulfillment and for some reason this is in the reverse there's balance being brought into your life from your spiritual observations as well so it's going to benefit you because you're going to align with your dreams and that's where you truly desire to be okay there's a lot of things you thought you liked there's a lot of things you thought you wanted and it's just once again it's attached to the older version of you that's where the disturbance is coming in it's a supernatural disturbance so we also have the seven of pentacles in reverse we have the king of cups we have the five of wands okay so there's a leap of faith that you're getting ready to take that you're being guided to take that's the it's in the cards it's divine all right there's something that you could have been waiting for we have the five of wands here as well we have conflict all right and then we're going to get one more card here for card one what do you want them to know they're here for a reason thank you all right eight of cups 
really having the bravery and the courage to walk away from what no longer is bringing you excitement what is no longer what you're in love with who you're in love with this dark night of the soul the light is the truth so the truth the light is being shed on a lot of things in your life right now and the truth is being revealed but you have to trust yourself to know that okay this is not in alignment with feeling good i'm not excited i'm not in love with this or this person any longer and i must be true to myself and follow that truth welcome to spirituality <laughs> with the higher font more is being asked of you more honesty more authenticity okay that's why it feels like you're so vulnerable so bare so open okay right now in this moment and where you will be it's to open up your heart to connect with your heart we have a lot of emotions here all right we also have the king of cups and then we have the page of swords in reverse all right so there's a newfound perspective that you have not been seeing for some time now in your life I'm seeing that there's going to be an open door and the light is going to be shed on that so that you see that there is an open path for you. There's a lot of self love that is coming in because you're getting to know yourself more on a deeper level, more of what you truly love. Okay, this is, these are, you're reaching the depths of your heart, the depths of your soul. Not everyone is brave enough to do this. Future self, look at this. You're stronger than any giant. Can't make it up. Not everyone is brave enough to do this. So your heart is a compass. Your heart is a goal. Your higher self wants you to know that on the other path of this leap of faith, let's see what you can expect. Okay, you're asking me to go to this deck okay you can expect stability harmony and acceptance so that's what you can expect on this leap of faith you can expect to be okay not to worry about not having a place to go not having a place to stay some of you i'm hearing there's there's a lot of different changes and though it's the ones who follow their soul follow their heart that is going to align with their greatest version of themselves and what they're here to do your heart is leading you with the king of cups here so what is it that you're walking away from card number one Whoa. we have trap you're walking away from what makes you feel trapped if it makes you feel trapped you shouldn't be there in the first place you are freeing yourself. You are detaching yourself so you can be free to explore, free to love, free to wonder, free to believe. Okay, you're going to you're going away from these people, drama, conflict, low vibration, low frequency, and you're moving towards acceptance and stability. Okay, so we have walking away from turning your back on with the 8 of cups this whatever makes you feel like a victim like it's a trick or a trap or like you're stuck or you have to be there and you're moving towards stability harmony and acceptance so that's what's happening in your life right now and so spirit is really saying questioning is this bringing you joy are you in love with this or them in love not love Okay, there's a difference between I love you and I'm in love with you. You desire to be in love forever. That is your true desire in your heart. In love forever. So we automatically as humans assume, okay, that means this one person forever. No, that means that you will be in love forever. With how many people is up to you. But it doesn't matter if you're in love. That is a higher perspective. You are being, you are being raised to a higher level of a standard because you're, what you're seeking and desiring is of a higher level of standard. 
true love, your true destiny, what you're truly here to do with, to collaborate with people who really resonate with you on a soul level that you feel safe with, that you could be open with. All right, so dark night of the soul, who you thought you were, who are you without your descriptions? All right, let's just see any other messages coming in for card one. All right, we have at the bottom, create a vision board to manifest all your desires, have faith in your dreams. So your higher self wants you to have faith in your dreams right now and understand that you're, you're not walking away from as much as you are walking towards what you truly desire. And you must believe that you can actually obtain these things. So creating a vision board is not just about putting things on a board. Whatever you're excited about, you're going to be led to search. And then out of the thousands of pictures, there will be a few pictures that you resonate with. How do you know it resonates? Because it feels really good. It feels exciting. You see it and it's like, yes, that is your higher self communicating with you right then and there. So everything on that board, if you take a step back, it is the life that you're actually here to live. Like for real, the life. It's the clues, like blues clues, literally like, hey, these are your desires. And we as humans automatically think that we have to go and get them. Have faith in your dreams is just simply knowing that it is true and that it is going to happen and you just accept it and you move towards it. And in order to do that, now you have to align with that and move away from everything that wasn't that, that you just got into because maybe it was comfortable. Maybe it just kind of fulfilled those lack beliefs in that moment. That's what the dark night of the soul is. It's like you're going through the fire and the fire is purity and purity is just the truth and the truth will set you free. Even if it pisses your ego off, <laughs> it will set you free. And that's what it is all about, is lining up with that. So as the Hierophant, you're here to live a different life, a life of your dreams. So that requires letting go of what's not in alignment with your dreams. Most of you just didn't think you could attain them. But in this life, I see that you will. You need nothing. Being yourself will inspire others. So you going through this transformation is actually going to inspire a lot of people around you. You don't have to explain to people why you're doing something. They don't even understand. They don't even follow their own truth. They don't even follow them, their own selves. It is very rare for a soul to follow their true being. This is enlightenment. You asked for more. <laughs> And now you're going to get more, but it's going to cost you what you didn't want in the first place anyways. Because if you did, you wouldn't be desiring more. And a little tip for your spiritual journey is our spirits are being very contained in these bodies. Okay, our spirit is very big. It is like the ocean is the universe and God, and we are just the cup of that ocean. And that water just represents us spiritually. And even that being contained in this body is a lot. In con being contained in these small houses is a lot. In these small positions, in these small, 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 small is what I keep hearing. You keep making yourself so small. But you are not meant to be small. And that means that you're constantly going to want to evolve and desire more. And that's okay. But we cannot stay in situations just because they are comfortable. Because guess what? You cannot prevent this deep desire for more in your life. More love, more peace, more abundance, more freedom. Okay? It's, it's like you cannot go against yourself for too long. And going against yourself is saying, I'm going to stay in this situation because I feel bad or because I don't want, you know, it's an emotional something. And so you're being called to follow your truth and to have faith and understanding that what you truly want is what you're being led to. And you have to, you have to know God, the universe to know that this is, that God is on your side, literally to the point where you're like, okay, God, you're leading me down this dark alley. I don't even know what's down there, but I'm going to trust you. And then people like myself, very intuitive, go down that dark alley. And then 
it comes to find that maybe we find like a a crazy situation maybe a car seat or maybe something we needed to see or a baby and we're like oh my gosh if I wouldn't have trust my instinct I never would have walked down there and found this and and it's like we don't know why we're being led down certain places but if you trust and know that what you're being led by is unconditional love in giving you the highest experience of love here on earth then it could be very hard to trust this guidance it's time to really get to know this and that's what i'm hearing for you card number one so this is your higher self is really 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 reaching out to you in the sense of wanting to communicate is communicating with you right now through your heart okay so you're going through a dark night of the soul that's what's going on here and basically it's shaking up your life um, and aligning it to your truth and guess what the more you align with the truth the more your life becomes a dream that is the truth and that's why i even have that tattooed on my neck follow the truth because if i ever were to reincarnate in this lifetime and seen myself i would want to see that like that's getting out of the matrix following the rabbit when i say follow the truth like there's only three words that i would ever tell myself in another lifetime follow the truth <laughs> literally like that's what the, this is all about because the truth is all that's real literally nothing else is real but the truth and when people ask what does the voice of your higher self sound like what does the voice of god in the universe sound like and i say finally i can explain that it sounds like the truth which is why when i say okay you might be a taurus you might have a sibling you might be excited for this next journey or if i say something you're like yeah that resonates that's because it's the truth and that's all that's real that's all that's real and so that's why you have to follow it because anything else is a false illusion that will eventually have to come crashing down and then we're like why did this happen well we weren't following our truth in the in the first place so this is all in your favor. And you have to understand that everything is in your favor, card one. This is not happening to you or this is except you're desiring more. And we have to, the universe now has to shift your life like a Rub Rubik's cube because you got entangled into all of these things out of fear and lack and comfortability and not having this or not having that. So you just settled in certain situations because it was easier manipulating certain situations so that you can, it's like you don't have to do all of that like manipulating, finding strategies, trying to figure this out, that's getting exhausting. <laughs> There's another way is what I'm hearing. So not to rattle on, if you guys are looking for an in-depth reading from your higher self, definitely go to thetarotchest.com to find that higher self, meet your higher self uh, video. There's only 333 of them. So if you're lucky to be one of those, I really feel like that will be good for you to really have a proper introduction of your higher self. So if you guys were led to card number one, you are going through a huge spiritual transformation. And the best advice I have for you is to just simply follow the truth, follow the light. It will never, ever, ever lead you astray, ever. So I'm on to card number two. If you guys were drawn to card number two, this is your message directly from your higher self for exactly where you are right now, timeless reading, your spiritual growth, is definitely changing things in your mind body and soul is something that i am hearing so everything that you're going through right now is a catalyst in a transformation so you're going to notice a lot of differences in your body change all right so this is a mutation so you are really becoming the best version of you you are going into a place of shifting yourself and if you're here card number two you're not alone and the fact that I can even talk to you in this video about this is crazy. I'm sensing you might be overlooking magic right in front of you, card number two. This is all magic. The fact that you're even here and I'm communicating with your higher self right now to get you this message for wherever you are in the world. I don't even know you. So there's a, an appreciation for technology and the change in life. So I'm hearing for you, embrace change. Embrace it and go with the flow of it, all right? So this change is going to happen in your body. You're going to feel it. You're going to start to respond, act differently, but you're going to also notice a lot of radiance increasing. 
So this lightness of you, you're going to start feeling lighter. Things are begin going to become a lot lighter for you, a lot easier for you. I'm hearing fresh, fresh, fresh. You get to plant, start new. Okay, there's nothing wrong with desiring new and more. So I'm also hearing if you guys are here, you can also be a clairvoyant, have a clairvoyant vision or be able to see certain lights or certain feelings or a person um, that like inspires you. That is actually because it is you, like they're you mirroring you. So there's a lot of communication that comes into you in a very psychic way. So if you guys have not checked out that video, what are your psychic abilities or meeting your higher self? There's only 333 of them. You guys can check those out on the tarotchest.com. All right, you can find that link down below because once again, you do have psychic abilities. You have a healing energy that's very natural. All right, almost as natural as driving home from work. Like it's just something you overlook. You're, you're overlooking a lot of magic and a lot of abilities that you do have uh, card number two so the spirit is truly becoming a living reality in the body and the material world in your life and i also feel like you're being empowered with the gift of love all right so you might be experiencing sometimes you can experience fatigue headaches or some type of imbalance in your body or just like there's awareness being presented in your body. There's communication being presented to you. Do not avoid it, okay? So that's something that I'm hearing as well because it is likely that you could be overstimulating yourself because a lot is changing in your life very quickly. So I'm hearing resting, drinking water, all right? So there's a lot going on there. I wanna pull the current energy and just see where you are. Card number two, higher self has brought you here for a reason. You've connected with me. I know I'm a high vibrational being on this planet. So for you to connect with me in any way, whoever you are, I don't know you, whoever you are, card number two, it is for a reason. <laughs> and that reason is because if you're connected to me, I know what I'm connected to, whether you do or not, that's the universe. This is the most intelligent, infinite energy in this world. There's so much more for you to know card number two is what i'm getting all right there's so many galaxies we are literally just a very small portion of this so there's going to be a lot more to open yourself up to when it comes to this spiritual life of yours all right so we have the five of cups the six of pentacles the devil and the magician i want to clarify the devil we have capricorn energy here okay we have justice lots of clearing of karma is what i'm hearing specifically for you if you were chosen to deck or card number two all right um i'm hearing for you your higher self wants you to really start trusting yourself and understanding which is the voice of of you okay the voice of you and that's very important because i feel like there are some things that maybe have happened that in the past that could be affecting how you feel about receiving in the future or the present you have a balance coming in in your life of receiving more but there are some things that you really have to detach yourself from is what i'm hearing okay we also have the high priestess yeah you're being asked to follow your instincts, your intuition in this moment of your life right now, because there's more alignment in the manifestation energy that you do have. It's more than just saying, I claim it in the comments. This is really aligning with who you are as the magician. This is real. And don't lose sight of that is what I'm hearing. Let's get a text message directly from your higher self. Card two, the person watching, what do you want them to know higher self? Each day, you should feel the exhilaration of being alive. If you don't feel the exhilaration of being alive or feeling good, it just simply means you're not in alignment with your higher self. Your higher self is just simply your spiritual self. It is the self that is most aligned with your truest life's purpose your truest life's purpose. It sounds like you have a lot of questions card too. 
And that's really beautiful because I feel like those questions are what's actually leading you down the spiritual journey. This is what's making you more spiritual. More spiritual just means aligned to who you are, aligned to freedom, aligned to true love. Spiritual is everything we truly desire, but we don't know how to communicate it verbally. We think it's a relationship and it's not. It's love. It's the feeling that it gives us, the feeling of the home, our dream home, the feeling of driving that car, the feeling of living a life that you're so exhilarated to live. It feels like Christmas every day. Not to say there won't be a balance of having your down days, which are just your days that you're just simply not aligned. And you're going to realize, card two, you'll have less and less amount of bad days the more aligned you are with who you truly are and, and what you're truly here to experience so there is more for you to experience in this life and i'm sensing being open to receiving that so if you're doing something and it doesn't feel like this that tells you right there where the work is we all say we're working on ourselves we're healing but what does that really mean? What does that really mean, card two? Okay, so that just simply means align with what would make you feel that. And you have to literally connect with your dream. What life can you imagine for yourself? Because even our imagination is puny. It doesn't matter if you're like a billion dollars. It's still very puny. <laughs> Everything, it's just, there's so much more is what I'm hearing, okay? So with that being said, I just wanna see what are the changes, what's happening right now for card two that is prompting all of this energy, detachments once again from the devil, okay? So we have aid, mercy, charity, and kindness, all right? So if you're experiencing a lot of this, for some reason, you think that you're alone. Each day should feel like Christmas. That's what you're here for. You're here to experience your highest level. We have self-love at the bottom. We're going to pull that because we don't have anything back here. All right. There is so much beauty happening that you might not be seeing right away. Things are being aligned in your life. And all you really have to do, the changes are happening all around you. There's so many changes be happening. And that's because your higher self is saying each day you should feel alive. You're, I don't know if you're a parent, you might not be, but a parent naturally wants their child to what have the best, right? Don't you want your child to feel that way? It's the same thing that the universe, God, whatever you choose to call it, desires for you, literally. And is conspiring to give it to you, but then has to tear things down, move things out the way just to get it to you, to aid it to you. You're, you know, we have regret here with the five of cups. We have crying, you know, she's crying. But spirit's like, hello, I'm here. I'm here. There is a beautiful love that you've never in your life experienced that's coming from God, the universe. Literally, I wouldn't say working, but has aligned this life perfectly for you to live your dream it is when we resist it that we get so much conflict so much feeling of defeat self-love also we have self-concerns self-healing and independence can you feel whole on your own there is a power of feeling this without having to need someone you're such a lover you don't want to have to need someone to feel this feeling imagine if you can feel this feeling generated within you without needing anyone or anything any accomplishment any validation that makes you powerful <laughs> is what that makes you so self-love Self consists of body, mind, soul. Your self belongs to you. It is not you. 
and this is a very profound thing that I've heard the universe even share in my journey. Yourself is your body, mind, and soul. Yourself, your, it belongs to you. It is not you. So you have to love this you. This you is your body, mind, and soul. You know, when you talk in third person, that's, that's yourself. You have to love that self so much that you're in love with it. Literally in love with yourself. And this is not just like, I love you. This isn't, I love me. This is, I'm in love with me. It's a different feeling. Okay, it's, it's deeper. It's like, imagine that love you've had and cultivated for another person that you love so much, whether it's a family member, whether it's a nephew, a niece, a cousin, a loved one, an intimate one, and had that same love for you. It is a different feeling that you're meant to experience in this life. So a lot of what you've been going through is to align you, to get you to feel this feeling so you don't feel like you need anything or anyone because you don't you are love okay we have offense madness unpleasantness i hope that you know that i come in peace <laughs> we have calm all right we also have inner peace simplicity and meditation so i see for you you are truly we have team network friendship let's get one more stubbornness like i said card number two i come in peace i come in peace this is all love and this is how your the universe talks to you too it is just simply truth so i'm definitely sensing being open to help it says selfness mutist attitude and arrogance so this is yourself you can you can literally find yourself having a conversation with yourself like oh my gosh you are so stubborn like that is a healthy relationship with yourself because we have someone who's aware which is you of yourself's stubbornness understand the duality here okay there's alchemy happening alchemy okay yourself is stubborn yourself is afraid to take the leap yourself gets upset at certain things right so it's like you have to talk yourself you have to be aware of yourself so that you can align so that you can be in more authority and harmony i don't even want to say control you don't have to control anything it's all love okay when you love yourself you don't have to do that think about something you love you just don't have to do those things so this is actually helping you manifest more meaningful relationships in your life and even if you don't want to hear some of this, okay, because yourself is a little bit, can be a little bit stubborn, ourselves are, you know, the more open to understanding that we're on the same team is what your higher self is saying, the more pleasant this experience will be. And it's not out of like having to surrender. We think surrendering is bad. Like, oh, I have to surrender and do this and do it my higher self. It's like surrender should feel like you just made it to the shores after swimming in the ocean for so long. Let me let go and just lay on the beach and be carried by the universe. Surrender is a beautiful opportunity. It's, it's, it's yes, exactly. It's an opportunity for you to let go and give it to something other than yourself. It's an opportunity to let literally surrender because where you are right now is where you've gotten yourself. But there is more for you to experience. Let's see what that is. Obviously, feeling alive every day. And, and, and here's the thing. This is what I'm going to say. I want to pull some more tarot to get some more information on this. We have to be honest with ourselves. <laughs> it's crazy, ourselves. Because ourselves will sometimes trick our, our own selves. We have to be honest with ourselves and say, do I feel exhilarated to be doing this? yes or no and you have to be honest because you have to align with truth the truth is the light and the truth is that you desire more and in order to get there you have to be honest with why you're where you are now 
and that there is there is a truth that is guiding you that is on your side it's on your side it's not punishment it's not to teach you a lesson the lessons are created by your stubbornness your theory of resisting the tidal waves of the ocean <laughs> okay your dreams and your desires are the keys to your fulfillment so what will bring you fulfillment and fill this void that we all look for in life you're living your dream living your dream obtaining your desires your desires are placed in you for a reason your wants you can obtain i want this i'm gonna go get it i want this i'm gonna get it your desires meh, you need the universe for that <laughs> it's a, <laughs> and that's because it is literally so aligned that every it's like everyone will be in your favor every opportunity will be in your favor when you take these pa this path because the universe has already aligned it so you have to trust this person it's like you have a teammate that's guiding you but you don't trust them you know what i mean so it's like i'm telling you your teammate this higher self is literally your best friend it is you guiding you to where you want to be even if you don't know what that is let's see what else you have for card two as we close out on what they're going to experience next thank you the hermit virgo some introspection some time to just seek take the time that maybe you didn't take previously to align with you to get to know yourself doesn't matter how old you are you guys i have people who are literally 68 70 still trying to discover themselves what they like that's like having a child for 86 years and not knowing what they like yourself is the closest to you how do you not know these things and then you get into a relationship and then they don't even know and then you're not being if there's so many things that could be avoided with self-love and that's what you're learning so you don't have to go through any of this ever again even in the in the reverse wounded warrior you're not built for this shit is what i'm hearing you're like i am not built for this shit. like dead serious you're not because it's not you okay you don't want to be fragile and have your neck tight or be stressed or worried about things or worried about money or stability here with the four of pentacles that's because it's not in alignment now let's get any last messages, okay, from your higher self is just simply saying, hey, you're going through changes right now. Be patient with yourself and understand yourself. Get to know yourself. Take some time. Understand you have help nearby. Okay, you could have been drawn to, to card number one for sure. Okay, um, but definitely you have help nearby. Anything you want them to know before we go, card two just release it i love it and there you have it just release it just release it release what release what anything that feels heavy and not exhilarating if you're not in love with it okay if you're not in love with it if you're not getting that feeling okay so and look at it. it's like i get it i get it i feel you i get it but you have to trust that something even sent me to you to tell you this. When you look at the magic of this, your phone works. Your phone could be broke right now. My phone could have been broke. My camera could have been broke. This message could have been delayed to you. Like so many things had to be in alignment for this message to get to you. And you're still here. If you're still here, shout out to you. Okay. Put down in the comments, I'm still here. Because yes, that's good. That means you did not go against your stubbornness. That means you're open. So there, that's, that's really healing. It's just being aware of, hey, you're not there anymore. It's just too many things, too many beautiful things here um, for you, card number two. And so when you understand all the things that had to happen for this to get to you, it would have seemed impossible if I would have known beforehand. Like, wait, I gotta do this, upload this, 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 this. And that person has to be there. You probably have to click the video. I don't know where you are right now and you're listening to it. You're spending time listening to it. It's everything is divine. So when you understand that everything's aligned and the universe sent me to deliver to you that you are loved unconditionally, 
hey, I'm on your team. We're, on, we're to, in this together. And it may not seem that way, but justice is being served. And it's just simply not resisting the current tide. By releasing it, holding on to it, is resistance. And so we think it's the universe's fault, like, ah, you make me want to release it. It's like, you don't even want that. Because I see a reality where you're happier. So just let it go. <laughs> you know, like, that's where you have to really, really trust and have this friendship with the universe as well, I'm sensing. So if you guys are looking to meet your higher self, there's 333 of those videos that I just released of channeling messages directly from your higher self in the sense of meeting them, how they guide you, how they direct you, what it feels like, how your higher self talks specifically to you. There's personalized decks. It's on the tarotchest.com. You guys can find that. In the meantime, I'm moving on to card number three. If you guys were drawn to card number three, this is your reading directly from your higher self. Card number three, if you were drawn to this, then you are definitely, definitely connected to me in tribe. You are certainly an earth angel and you are definitely a light worker. If you don't know what that means, it's just simply you are connected to the world. So whatever happens in the world, you're actually pretty affected by. So with the earth healing, this is way more than you could imagine. This isn't just like your personal life that you're connected to. You're connected to a kingdom of light is what I'm hearing. Card three, you've been here before and you are basically making a contribution to the planet through your spiritual journey. So this is basically all about your beliefs and your generosity, okay, is the word that I'm hearing. And what you are doing actually does matter. Even if it's just a couple of people around you, you are literally touching them. Every time people around you, they may feel like they've been touched by an angel. That's really what I like to say after I leave someone because when you carry this light of purity and you just stay true to who you are, even if the world has seemingly been harsh or there's a lot of hurt or maybe it seems like there's a lot of suffering in the world, you are actually here to bring the light of the truth of healing. And now this isn't a job, okay? I don't want you to think you have to heal people. I'm hearing this very clearly for you. That doesn't mean you have to set people free. That doesn't mean you have to free people. That doesn't mean you have to heal people. That sounds like a lot of work. Think about that. Feel that energy. All you're doing is being healed, being free. And this is naturally going to inspire and reflect in the people around you. You will not have to talk about any of this. It is just simply being an example of it. So what you're doing actually matters. And I'm hearing that you're being recognized by your angels, you're being recognized by your guides, that you're on the right track, that you are being connected to something much higher than yourself. The world may not believe in this energy, but it, this is the energy that raises the frequency and the vibration of this earth. Without these earth angels, such as yourself, very rare, very, 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 very rare, people have lots of money. People have lots of materials people have lots of friends people have lots of family members people do not have lots of light truth enlightenment this is something very 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 rare i want you to understand just how rare this light is that you carry card three it is transformational it is healing to the people that you are around unknowingly you don't see your energy being exchanged with people, so you don't see the currency of it. Your energy, this is, man, not me about to get preachy. Okay, guys, <sighs> you're a light worker. I don't know if you guys have attended a level 11 mentorship class that I have. If you haven't, please look in the description box or email me if you guys are interested in this. You are an earth angel and you hold the keys to the doors of heaven. And I know that's a heavy statement to make and that's why I want you to know how serious this is, card three. This key that you hold, your light, is going to give you access into places that not many people have access into. So your light isn't just about being a saint or being an angel and being perfect and all of that, no. This is about being true to who you are, 
following your heart no matter what, following the truth no matter what. That is the light, okay? If you guys are coming from another card and this is your second card that you're choosing, this is where you're headed. This is what's next for you. If this is your first card, this is where you are. This is confirmation. Your light is going to give you access to so many things. Do you know how many discounts I get just because of my energy, my light? People just say, I, I, you know, I like your light. I'm going to give this to you for free. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. I like your light. I'm going to discount this for you. I like your light. I'm going to invite you to this. It's rare privilege. And the people, you have to see this light and the value of this light that you have. Okay. Now, there is also a lot of assisting that's happening on your journey from higher self that is guiding you, you here. And you're not to lose sight of understanding that this is not your home. Okay. This is just a temporary visit. All right. And so you're not of this world. You are just exploring it and experiencing it is what I'm hearing. Let's get the current energy for card three. We're mainly looking for major arcanas because, of course, this is a very spiritual person I am connected to. Even if you don't know this for yourself just yet, spiritual just means intuitive, connected to senses outside of tasting, touching, smelling, hearing, you know, those five senses. All right, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Let's see what's going on with card three. We have the World card. We have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, so huge shifts and ch uh, changes are happening in your life in order to align them with the opportunities that you desire and the fulfillment that you desire, okay? So there is a completely renewed start that is coming to you, card number three. So now we also have Temperance, Sagittarius energy also on the board. All right, let's clarify. Why are these all in reverse? What's going on here? Two of swords. We have some fears around this. There's more to understanding who you are. That's why when I say these things, if you get excited when I say, you know, you're here to live heaven on earth, you're here to live your dream. And by you doing that, by you healing, healing simply being aware of yourself that you're able to live a life that not many people are and that is actually what's going to be inspiring those around you now there is a reconciliation that is still meant to happen tell me why the temperance card is here spirit one card thank you there's some fears here of this being that you are Okay, this being that you are. And we have paranoia, depression, phobia. All of this is simply coming from not being in alignment with what you truly desire. Not being in alignment with what feels good. Staying in situations until the depression kicks in. Usually if we're depressed, that's when it, when it gets to that point of view. Okay, let's just see what else is here. We have death endless endless harm inevitable okay so we have some fears here and also some people that you are attracting so we have gifts let's see what this is about card three why are they here higher self you have a message directly for them thank you okay i'm hearing you're meant to be free from time free from time okay understand and believe there's more than enough time in the day Okay, you have the power to shift your reality and make that true to the point that every time you look at your clock, you're like, whoa, it's only been three minutes. All right, we are we are tapping into different realities if you guys are here. So I'm seeing that you're meant to live beyond time, beyond a schedule, beyond the matrix. There's freedom beyond it. So there's a definitely, and I feel like you could have came from card one. You don't have to, but there is some type of ego death that was necessary that you could be going through right now. Um, for you to get here. Your purpose is simply to exist, okay? You're already living your purpose by just simply existing. I always say the first and foremost is to exist, right? That's why you were created, to just exist. And now you're here and you desire to experience, but there's something within you that desires more in the sense of making the world a better place, um, maybe the people around you doing the best for yourself, living in your full potential, feeling there's more for you 
um, to explore and experience in this life, more places to see, more people to meet. There's more. Your, your heart feels connected to so much more. And that's why you actually are coming up at with the earth feeling, so being connected. But there is more for you to learn about yourself. The temperance card is here. There's a little bit of fear around this this person that you truly are this authentic person so you have a gift coming in here i feel like people are going to want to give to you because of your healing and we also have apology guilt confession and forgiveness what is this all about my friends don't overlook what you have to offer for it is valuable let me see what's going on here with this apology okay i feel like you could have transcended a lot of pain came from a lot of places did a lot for people Maybe you haven't felt that reciprocation just yet. I see more coming in. The more you see the world as heaven, the more that you will see the world as heaven. Everything will start shifting in your reality, in your frequency um, by just understanding this. We have a lot of low frequency energy. I'm hearing taking care of yourself is very important. We have confinement and we have bully. Captivity, tolerance, unfreedom, embarrassment, gossip, unwillingness. So really, we have a few things here. I want to get some clarity on these people. Pay attention to, there you go. You heard me say I want to get some clarity around these people, right? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Card three, I'm just hearing you're not meant for everyone, okay? You're not meant for everyone. And any of these feelings that you're receiving, this could be past experiences, this could be your own self that you've overcome a lot of self-sabotaging beliefs, a lot of shame. You're getting to a place of not caring about what other people think of you, but we have pay attention to how you feel around others. This is communication. You are naturally a healer, so you will attract people who don't know why they're attracted to you, but that's because every time they're in your presence, you're healing them, whether you're talking or not. It's your presence that is the energy. It is your presence, it's, it's your aura. So you have a lot to offer and it's very valuable. All of the truth that you uncover in your life, everything that you go through is a testimony to many people that will help many people. It is a blueprint that will help many people. So you didn't go through it for just any reason. You went through everything you went through to activate your gifts. But now it's, there's more awareness of the ability that you do have. And now it is really time to choose yourself to balance this. You're walking away from low frequency energy. It doesn't feel good to feel frightened, depressed, or bullied. It doesn't feel good to feel embarrassed. It doesn't feel good to feel trapped or confined. Feel the vibrations of these words when I say them. It doesn't feel good to be harmed. So what is it that you're moving towards three? And this is also in your mind also is what I'm getting for, for those of you who are really, really enlightened here. Loneliness, dullness, disappointment, and isolation. So I just see that you have went through a lot. You are an earth angel and this is sometimes the path of an earth angel you might find yourself wanting to be alone. You're never alone, but by yourself. Wanting to be by yourself. And wanting to align with the energy that you're giving out, which is going to be other earth angels. And so that's why it's so amazing that you're connected to this video and the people in this video and the people in the comments who said I chose deck number three, because that means that's your tribe. They are you. You all came from different parts of the world, different devices, different internet services, thank, like all these things, and you're connected. It's got to be you and another person. So that's a really, really big thing here. So you're moving away from all of this energy. You're naturally a healer. You're naturally going to want to bring the light to people. But now I see you moving towards a new beginning where you are now receiving you have a natural desire to give, but now it is about receiving because when you receive, you're going to feel an optimal amount of joy. This joy is going to feel very contagious. Thank you. 
good news, encouragement, miracle, and surprise. Thank you. So I'm feeling the energy is shifting here. So walking away from energy that is no longer in alignment with who you are. As an earth angel, this is something you might find yourself dealing with very often because it is very rare. So that should tell you your value. If you haven't met someone like you, that should tell you your value. What you are going through is only temporary. Okay, so you guys have good news coming in. There is more to discovering who you are, my friend. Even us as enlightened earth angels, we, I, even myself, we, at the bottom we have, I'm preparing your life partner. So we'll get into that because I've seen it. So if you see it, it's for a reason, right? And this is how the universe communicates with you. It doesn't have to be through cards. It could be through all different signs and miracles. There, there's more to discovering you because there's a lot of depth. We're talking about discovering God, discovering source. So this is a lifetimes and lifetimes of information collectively to even discover and say, I know who and what I am. So never stop searching, never stop discovering. And the next level for you could simply be to start sharing your light with other people. Okay, to start sharing this. Yeah, blessings, yeah. Something's getting ready to shift in your life. It's been tough, okay? You could have lost people, um, could have just dealt with being uh, by yourself because not many people are on this journey or on this path. So I'm seeing a whole cycle coming in complete circle. So I believe that you were brought here by your higher self to let you know good news is coming in. And this is all about fulfillment, your well-being and enlightenment. This is also Lord Ganesh. And most people believe the God of abundance, having a lot of material success. It is your heart. It is your light. You are meant to be seen. What else is here for card three from future self? You are meant to be free. Okay, so you are meant to be free. This is the life that is going to bring you the most joy, the life that brings you the most freedom. So anything that made you feel confined, you will have to walk away from in any aspect because it's not alignment with who you are. If it makes you feel confined in a sense of being small in your mind, you're letting go of it. A lot of this is self-sabotage. You're becoming one with yourself, knowing and, and trusting that you are your best friend. And I've said this in a live recently, you are your best friend. Nobody on earth will ever be your best friend like you, period. Let me save you years of spiritual awakening to find that once you're in harmony with yourself, it is, it is a, it's a different life. Because now your reality is reflecting a, harmon a harmonious life. You no longer bully yourself. Instead, you encourage yourself. Instead, you feel like you're the best ever. You know, when you think of Mayweather and you think of these people who are just undefeated, doing things that are impossible, breaking records, they believe in themselves. Listen to how they talk about themselves. What's to come for card three? Higher self, they're here. Four of Wands, marriage, harmony, can't make it up. If you look at Four of Wands right now, the description is harmony, unity, harmony with self, loving self, harmony with giving and receiving, because when you're passionate about receiving and you're in joy, you're going to heal more people around you. The healing comes through many different ways. Healing is sometimes just being seeing a possibility in another person oh i just healed what does that mean i let go of this disbelief that was attached to things that have happened in the past i needed to heal i needed to what be aware that's just it just be aware <laughs> that's it and you have a gift of awareness especially if you're connected to three so you're connected to a lot of the things that around you people around you environments affect you so all of this energy is you're coming out of this and you're going to into this bright energy, gifts, good news, blessings. So yeah, you did have to isolate yourself. When you're by yourself is when you're gonna hear from your higher self the most, when you're gonna hear from the universe the most. So you have harmony, marriage, unity, a life partner coming in. So this confirms for those of you, I'm just gonna say this, if you are single, higher self wants you to know you're here 
to put ashore, rest ashore, that your life partner is being prepared because you're being prepared. Once you go through this shift, whatever you're going through right now in this timely manner, now you're going to attract that version of you. The version of you right now is not wanting and desiring to meet a person in the same energy that you're in right now. For some reason, they're still being prepared, which says you're being prepared. So when you feel ready, they're going to show up. They're very close to you. 2024, four could be a big number for you. If you're already in a relationship, okay, your person that you're with could be preparing for a deeper union, and that union could be happening in 2024. I'm hearing your relationship is not meant to feel overloaded, excessive, or obligated, or overwhelmed. If you feel this way, your life partner outside of this person is being prepared because your soul and your heart cannot lie. It'll, it simply desires true love. And if you're not in love, you will feel it and you will desire more. So you will start to manifest a life partner. So only you know where your relationship stands. All right, let's look at card number three, last message for why they are here. There's something that they really needed to hear and then we'll clarify it, okay? Expect a financial breakthrough soon, okay? We have a lot of messages from your higher self communicating. That tells me that you communicate pretty good with your higher self. So that's really, really good to hear. All right, and then we also have, you are wealthier than you think, you are brave for being you. Tell me what these last cards are about. So you have a financial breakthrough coming in, all right? So eight of wands may have felt delayed. I do see that that is gonna be coming in here very soon. Um, some financial breakthrough that's going to make you feel a lot more wealthier. So spirit is saying you're wealthier than you think. So whatever you think is not true. Now, how do you know how much wealth that you actually, it's like spirit is saying, you have a wealth of something, a wealth of hugs, a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of smiles, a wealth of expertise, a, a wealth of peace. I mean, you have something and a lot that many people desire. Many people have on their board, you as a manifestation, whether that's because of your expertise, your light, they are manifesting you and you are looking to manifest them. So with that being said, you have a lot of wealth of something. Therefore, you are going to attract a lot of wealth because you have a wealth of something. So because of what your wealth is, you have to, you have to discover that. Is it your expertise? Is it your, your knowledge? And the people around you will tell you, you are wealthier than you think. So whatever you think about how much wealth you have, spirit is saying times 10. All right, so King of Swords, last card here for what this is all about for the wealth and financial messages, okay? Ten of Cups in reverse. Your financial wealth and success is connected to your emotional fulfillment, how you feel. Okay, whatever makes you feel good. It, imagine going to a place where you feel good all the time. You're going to have your best creations. So there is a need to walk towards something more fulfilling here we go with the four of cups in reverse like i just said fulfillment four of ten i always say the four out of the four of cups is like rating an experience a four out of a ten that doesn't sound very delightful so you are meant to go towards what brings you fulfillment so you have good news coming in you have a financial breakthrough coming in spirit wants you to know there's a relief here Okay, so if you guys made it here, you are an earth angel. You are a light angel. If you guys are attracted to this reading, you can find more in-depth readings at thetarotchest.com or even just simply connecting with the community or the Telegram group. You guys can find that down below also. So it was a privilege and an honor for me to read for you today. I am definitely one of your spirit guides along your journey, and it's, it's an honor and it is truly a privilege for me to be able to be myself connect with this beautiful energy and just simply deliver the light and for you to be open and um, that means the world to me because that means you and i are one and the same so i'm sending you so much love and light if you guys are here check me out in the next video i'm out love and light